A very good day to all of you. In the lesson today, we are going to talk about synthesizing and also developing a short research paper. So first thing first, synthesizing. In academic writing, uh, we have a subtopic that we call as synthesizing. It comes from the word synthesize. Um, so when, when you are synthesizing, it is a process that involve um, searching or looking for uh, ideas and information from various sources before uh, you are writing your academic essay. So when we are writing an academic essay um, on any topics, um, we'll have to search for information. It is impossible for us to write solely from um, from our mind, from what we already know. Um, it is important uh, when we are writing an academic writing, we um, get the ideas and the opinions from other sources like the internet, uh, websites, uh, articles, journals, uh, books or magazine in order to support our opinions and also our points. So the process of synthesizing is that process. The process of um, when we have a topic of a writing, uh, before we write, we look for the information, um, the um, opinions and ideas from various sources and we combine them, we collect them so that we'll get uh, the overall idea of what we can talk about about that particular topic. So uh, by definition, um, synthesizing is the process that you do when you research several resources, uh, websites, journal articles, books, magazine, and combine the ideas to support in your writing. So let's say you are talking about uh, your, your writing topic is should marijuana be legalized? Yes or no? Or maybe both um, can be accepted. Um, so when your topic is should marijuana be legalized, uh, what you need to do is, of course, you, you, you have your own idea, yes or no. But to support your ideas, to support your points, you need to research the details, um, the um, the points that you can get from any books, websites, or magazines, or journal articles. So you'll have to synthesize. So you'll have to go through all the websites, the articles, the books, and then you come out with a conclusion. Um, yes, uh, what are the reasons? Um, what are the points that you can support with um, sources from the internet, from books. So you need to search for the information before you can write your essay about the topic. So that means when you synthesize, you combine the ideas from more than one text or source. So you synthesize and then the next step is you write a research paper or you write an academic essay. Um, so that is about the topic um, for this particular lesson. So um, how do we synthesize? Um, first, we uh, decide on the topic. So what would be your topic? So your instructor, your lecturer might give you a particular topic or you could have your own topic if it is your personal um, academic article that you want to publish. Uh, once you have a topic, you create a concept map to get um, the, the basic idea and also to brainstorm on the topic. So you, you uh, do not go to the internet yet, but uh, based from your understanding, what do you think about it? What can you write about the topic? So a concept map is basically a, a mind map. For example, like this. So let's say I want to talk about should marijuana be legalized? This is my topic for my writing, for my academic writing, um, academic essay, for, or we call it as research paper. Um, so this is my topic. And then I put 
my ideas on a mind map what i'm going to talk about what am i going to write about this topic um, so anything on my mind or uh, if it is a group discussion uh, you can come out with a mind map um, uh, with ideas and opinions from your group members so uh, yes uh, what reasons what are the benefits of uh, marijuana uh, because of possibly these reasons um, it can cure a lot of diseases neuro neurological problems mental problems uh, can also be a source of income by exporting marijuana medical products the economic benefits and no perhaps because of uh, the side effects so reasons why we shouldn't legalize marijuana because of addiction heart disease brain damage um, um, driving while intoxicated so can cause accidents social problems economic problems if someone is taking marijuana the productivity when that person goes to work well, that will be a problem and what is marijuana itself um, why is it not legal um, are the names of marijuana so those are uh, the basic ideas the rough ideas that I have before I um, write a research paper about the topic uh, properly so this is for me to brainstorm what I know about it before I go to the internet before I open any related books or magazines or online newspapers to search more about the topic before I can um, draft my academic essay um, so so you decide on a topic you create a concept map to get an idea and brainstorm the topic and you read relevant materials um, so what are relevant materials could be anything could be websites books journals and then you make a brief uh, brief notes using uh, keywords or points um, so that you can compare and contrast and then you um, uh, you decide what points do you want to take and put in your academic essay and of course when we talk about academic writing or research paper we always have to cite we need to have the citations and also the references from the points the sources the authors that you cite if you take from the internet books or journals you will always have to have citations so um so read relevant materials so this is my topic should marijuana be legalized um, so once I already have uh, my mind map my concept map uh, yes should be legalized for some reasons and no shouldn't be legalized for some reasons so I know there are positive and negative sides of marijuana so what I do is next I read the relevant materials to support my points to support my opinion so I go um, easier for me to go to the internet so let's say um, this is one of the articles that I found in the internet and it talks about uh, some of the benefits of marijuana and this article is written by this person Alan Carter published um, in 2020 um, so what I do is um, um, I read the relevant materials and I make notes so like this so this is what we call as synthesizing um, so just now uh, the article was written by Alan Carter benefits of marijuana after I have read this article I found some points that I could include in my academic essay and um, it says that marijuana can reduce pain because of these reasons these points so this is from Carter 2020 so this is the citation Carter 2020 because uh, that is the name of the author and then also um, when I have the notes here I also put the reference so the reference is um, the complete address of the citation so this is a reference from for a website so I have the name of the person is Alan Carter 
published on January 6, 2020, and the title is What are the benefits of marijuana? So you need to make sure your reference follow APA format, 7th edition, um, properly, including the punctuation. So Carter is the surname, Ellen, we put the initial, comma, and full stop in bracket, the year, the uh, month, and also the date it was published. If it is website, you have um, the months and the date. If it is a journal article or a book, no need to have months and date. The title of the article and then where it was published. So the website is Healthline Italicized and then the URL. So from this website, so these are the points that I got and from the other website um, so i search a couple of websites uh, for the information um, the next website is uh, this one marijuana good or bad by david relton so the information the points that i got from the web this website i uh, write in my synthesis so Railton 2018, uh, some points given. So these two people, they talk about the positive sides of um, legalizing marijuana. I also uh, do some research on other sites as well so that I get a lot of information before I uh, start writing about the topic. Uh, so some other websites talk about the dangers of marijuana, the long-term effects and the points that I got from these websites um, I also include in my synthesis like this so it is written by Crane 2020 so the name of the author is Marisa Crane 2020 and can cause memory problems so that is the side effects of marijuana and the reference so I have the reference and I also go to other sites as well to make sure I have um, a proper idea of what I'm going to write about in my academic essay. Uh, so the other website is by Lauren Cox, 2017, The Effects of Wheat on Brain and Body. Um, so once I've read this article, I go back to my synthesis and I put the points that I have together with the citation and also the reference. Um, you can refer to my video on citations and references on how to do proper citations and references. So this is what we call as synthesizing. So I have done my synthesis. I have synthesized uh, several articles on the websites. Um, I don't have some books if I, I don't have any books but if I have some books I would also refer to the books or magazines um, but it is easier for me to go to the websites. So I have um, four citations here with um, a lot of points that I can use in my academic essay on the topic should marijuana be legalized so from all the points that i have just now that i have uh, gained from the websites from the sources i can say that marijuana have some positive effects also some negative effects on human beings on the country on the society the positive effects would be on the medical health to reduce pains in migraine for example in arthritis um, reduce neurological and mental problems like parkinson's parkinson's disease and anxiety and bipolar disorder but there are also some negative side effects like it can cause memory problems and can cause heart problems so I think I'm going to write um, for, for the topic should marijuana be legalized I'm going to talk about both the positive um, effects of uh, mari legalizing marijuana and also the negative effects of um, if we legalize marijuana and in the end I will say uh, perhaps we can legalize marijuana because uh, only for 
medical purposes only to be used in hospitals and clinics. So for recreational usage like smoking marijuana, um, it is, I, I think it should be illegal. It should not be legalized. It should be legalized only um, for medical purposes. So from the research that I have done just now, that is my conclusion. Marijuana should be legalized for medical purposes and should be should not be legalized for recreational usage for smoking like when you are smoking cigarettes so that is my conclusion after uh, the synthesis after synthesizing informations from all from most of the websites that i have searched for so um, that is about synthesizing so when you synthesize uh, you have a topic and then you search for the information um, to get a brief idea of what a brief and also detailed idea on what the topic is about the points that you can talk about for the topic so now that you have done um, I have done with the synthesizing I am now ready to write my academic essay and the title of my academic essay is should marijuana be legalized so academic essay or we also um, call it as a research paper because we have done the research so these are the research that i have done for the writing so now that i'm ready to um, um i'm ready with the points from my research from carter Rilton. Uh, Crane and Cox from the websites. Um, now I'm ready to write uh, my uh, research paper or academic essay on the topic should marijuana be legalized. So my next step is to think on how to write a proper research paper or proper academic essay together with starting from the introduction, um, the thesis statement, the topic sentence, the points, so it seems that I have four main points here because um, I have four, um, four main sources that I got from the internet and also lastly the conclusion. So um, this video um, is about synthesizing. Um, the next video will focus on how to write a proper research paper or academic essay. So um, I'll see you again in my next video. So thank you very much for your attention.